In this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the background from your video footage inside of Adobe After Effects. Now, in order to do this, we're going to be using the new Rotor Brush 3. So make sure that your Adobe After Effects is up to date. So let's get into it. So as you can see on screen, we have a video of me against a plain background. And this is the easiest way that you can remove the background. Because if you have complications, like in this example, you can see there's things in the background, there's a little bit more going on. This is a little bit more difficult. It's not impossible, it's just a bit more difficult. So if possible, if you haven't filmed your footage yet, then I would definitely recommend shooting against a plain background or a plain-ish background. That's gonna make your life so much easier. Also, if you haven't shot your footage yet, then I would recommend shooting in a higher shutter speed. So you might be able to see it in this. This was filmed at one over 100, which means there is less motion blur. So when I move rapidly, you can see when I'm moving my hand, there is a little bit of motion blur, but there's not loads of motion blur. And this is really important for the editing process because the way the rotor brush works is it cuts out what it can see. And when it blurs, it has a hard time figuring out what the subject is and what the background is. So it often fails or it looks messy. So if you haven't shot your footage yet, then make sure you're shooting against a fairly plain background and have a shutter speed of one over a hundred or higher. This will make life so much easier. So in order to do this effect, you first just want to drag the cursor back to the very beginning. And as you can see, this is our video. So we're just going to drag it back to the beginning. We'll go up to this icon here, which is the Roto Brush tool. We'll double click the video and you'll see you've got a green brush. Now from here, you just want to paint within the person and try not to paint the background. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm just going to paint an outline around myself and After Effects will fill in the rest, hopefully. Here we go, let's see. That's done a pretty good job. You can see it's included every part of me. There's a little bit of spillage here. So I'm going to hold option on the keyboard to load the red paintbrush. That is on Mac. If you're on Windows, I believe that is Alt. And then there's a little bit down here. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Boom, it's done what it needs to do. So once you're happy with that selection, you just want to press the space bar. And After Effects is just going to scrub forward frame by frame and just go through the process of removing the background. Now, as you can see, it's doing a really good job, but keep a close eye on this because it can mess up. It can go wrong, but so far it's going really well. So if it did mess up, then all you would need to do is just press the space bar, maybe go back a few frames where the problem occurred, and then you would just go ahead and just play forward again once you've made the amendment. But this is absolutely nailing it. This is doing a really good job so far. Now, you're probably wondering what to do about the hair. As you can see, my hair is a little bit frizzy in this example, and the rotor brush is having a hard time picking the hair up, but that's where we have the refine edge tool. And this is a, this is a very similar feature to the rotor brush, but it's just for those fine details. So we'll jump into that in a moment once this has finished what it needs to do. Go, cool. I think that's enough of that. It hasn't quite finished the full video, but we've got four seconds. So if you just select this button, which is the toggle alpha overlay, you can see everything red is the background that will be removed and everything in color, i.e. not red, this is what's going to stay. So as you can see, it's done a really good job at removing that background. So if you go back to the composition, there we go. We're on a new background and now we're free to place that onto a new background. So the background's removed, we can use this as a green screened asset. However, if you did want to go back in and clean up the hair, then that's where we would go to the rotor brush tool, hold it, drag it down to find the refine edge tool. Then you would double click this again and you can see the paintbrush has gone blue. Now I'm just going to zoom into the hairline, make sure the cursor is at the very beginning and I'm just going to paint around the hairline. So wherever you can see those frayed edges, I'm just going to paint. So I'm just going to create this refine edge. There we go, you can see I've got a little bit of loose hair over here. I'm just gonna paint around that. And that to me looks pretty good. I feel like all of my stray hairs have been selected. The hairline is great. So what I can do from here, you can see we've got a slight different view. So black will be removed, white will be kept. So if I just press the space bar again, it's going to keep the roto brush selection, but now it's also going to do the refine edge tool for us as well. So there's two different things going on here, but this is how we're going to get that really nice clean edge. So again, you just wanna keep an eye on this, make sure it's doing what it needs to do and just let After Effects do its thing. You can jump in and make amendments, but chances are it's probably gonna do a great job if you've got the latest version, which is Roto Brush 3. 
Okay, we're not quite finished, but I'm just going to stop that there just for the sake of my own time. <laughs> we're going to go back to the composition. And as you can see, the hairline has been smoothed up. It's been cleaned a lot. So as you can see, if I go down to this edge, you can see that's a hard edge. Whereas when I go up to here, it's a really soft, detailed edge. We've got a lot of detail. There is a little bit of bleed from the background, but generally it's done a really good job. If we turn on the transparency grid, you can see how good of a job that has done. And if we scrub through, you can see that is really consistent. So it's a really powerful tool this is. But this is where I do say, use a simple background as opposed to a complicated background, because if I was on a more complicated background, then this might have more difficulty trying to get this sorted. Whereas when I'm on a simple plain background, it's just been removed really easily. So now from here, all I would have to do is just add a new background. So I could go layer new solid. I was on a white background before, but maybe we could add some color in. So let's go for a nice soft blue or we'll press OK, make this the background. And there we go. I'm now on a new background. And now because this is its own asset, it's like a key out element. You can just add assets behind it so we can add some text. So Brook of Films, let's make this large change the font to monster rat. There you go, replace this in the middle and now we can drag this underneath the foreground layer and that is now behind me. So you can add all sorts of different elements here. You can add video footage, you can add background, you can add text. There's loads that you can do here, but this is now essentially its own keyed out asset. So if you copied and pasted this, there you go, let's take the copied and pasted layer. If we go into effects and presets and we search for levels, if we drop levels onto one of those and we pull the input black all the way up, you can see we can get a white silhouette or the opposite. If we go to the input white, pull that all the way down, then we get a shadow. So we can put like a shadow behind us and we could do something fun with that. Like there are so many different possibilities that you can do. If you had some footage, you could drop that in, but that is how you remove the background from your video footage inside of Adobe After Effects. And there you go. That is the tutorial now complete. What did you think of it? Was it a decent tutorial? Do you feel like you learned something? If so, let me know in the comment section below. And if you've got any video ideas at all, if you want to see something cool and interesting in the next tutorial, you want to see something very specific, just let me know and I'll see if I can make a video for you in the future. But thank you ever so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And hopefully I will see you on the next episode. See you there.